Hello and welcome to Rewear Wellness where we talk about mindset, spirituality, mental health and a lot more. I'm just helping you live your best life and become a better version of yourself because I think that's what humanity is all about and the journey of life is all about. You know, it's about the journey, not the destination, cliche as it sounds. But I wanted to just talk a bit about what's been on my mind lately. I think that these kind of videos where I just talk about you know, what's been coming up for me in my life and applying it to you as well um, is what's really beneficial because I think the other stuff you can just find on Google. Um, so gonna give you my perspective on things. So what I've noticed is that if you are trying to manifest something, and this goes for me obviously from my personal experience, I got into manifestation in 2020. So it's been about two and a half years and I have gotten to know everything about it like okay maybe not everything but a lot about it but it still somehow didn't magically fall into place like i thought it would right why can't i just say i want you know um a million views on youtube and why can't it just happen by the way subscribe if you haven't yet um but why 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 can i just say i want you know a cake and it just come to me and of course, as I learned more about it, I realized there's so much more to it, which I have been sharing a little bit in my other videos. And do let me know if you want me to talk more about it. But why do I keep digressing? The point is that lately I have realized that I do all the work for manifesting, right? I feel positive. I write positive affirmations. I journal. I script. I do all of these things. And maybe you do them too. If you have been in this world, a spiritual world, for a while, you might know, you know, all these things. You might be meditating. You might be asking for your desires. But you know what? The biggest block for me, I realized, is that I don't trust. I didn't trust the universe and i'm being so vulnerable here on the video so oh well hope you guys won't judge me um <laughs> anyways i was not trusting and i realized this is actually a pattern from my life is that i don't trust people who are supposed to give me things maybe or take care of me i don't trust them like i think that it's all good and it looks all nice and it feels all nice so it's kind of you know like i do the positive affirmations i do the nice thing but when it actually comes down to it deep down i don't actually believe the good things will happen i just feel like oh well even if something is good good is happening i'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop and this was such a huge aha moment for me and I want to ask you as well, who in your life are you not trusting to be there for you? Maybe this is your partner. Maybe you don't trust your partner to just be there for you in the way you want them to be and to support you. Maybe it's your parents. You just don't trust them to understand you or to give you what you want. Maybe it was something that happened in school when you were a kid. You asked for your teacher for something. You thought your teacher would be there for you, but he or she wasn't. And they judged you instead. And you don't trust them anymore. You don't trust those, those, that authority. You, know, you don't trust authority figures. Because as a child, you needed these things, right? As, as children, we need acceptance, love, understanding, a, a safe space to be heard. We need these things. But then if we don't get them, we feel like, yeah, no one's gonna give them to us anymore. Like no one's gonna give them because that's our reality. That, that becomes our world as children. And we carry that reality as we grow older, we become adults. And so I wanna ask you in your current life, who or what is it that you're not trusting? And where could this come from? Think back to your childhood or any big event that happened to you it doesn't have to be childhood if it's big enough you know if it really had a huge impact on you think back to that and where you really just needed something from somebody and they weren't there to give it to you and what i want you to do is to take that and forgive them now this might be challenging because what does even forgiveness even mean right like what oh, okay i say i forgive you no not not really like that but go deeper reenact that situation in your mind and literally feel the feelings of forgiveness and love going towards them and you might need to forgive yourself too for how you reacted maybe or for holding on to this for so many years or whatever it is but just tap into this feeling of forgiveness 
let go of that resentment that you don't get what you want or that people are not there for you. And when you do that, you can also forgive in a way the universe or circumstances for not being there for you, you know, for just not happening for you, for you just not being able to manifest your desires and forgive, forgive that past and step into the new and practice trusting tap into that trust again to remind yourself that it is safe to trust that your desires are coming into fruition that everything is working out for you that the universe or god is on your side just feel into that feeling like for for maybe a minute and just see how does it feel what does it feel like where do you feel this feeling that's what i mean when i say tap into that feeling like just you know spend some time in that feeling even, you know, take that not just into the universe, but also into your present day relationships, whether it's your partner or your parents or your friends or whoever else, you know, that you need to trust and tap into that, hey, you know, things are gonna work out. So you're essentially changing from fear, fear and distrust and, you know, feeling like, oh, what's gonna go wrong now? When is the other shoe gonna drop? When is that person gonna disappoint me? You know, going from that fear into love, into forgiveness, into feeling that, you know what? I'm being vulnerable and I'm gonna trust the situation. I'm gonna trust the people around me. I'm gonna trust the universe. And that takes a lot of courage because you're being so vulnerable, but I'm ready for it. And that's when your desires will begin to manifest. That's when things will actually happen because you have a new belief that things work out for you and things will work out for you, okay? So I want you to try this. Let me know how this feels. Put it in the comments below. I also have my coaching, Burnt Out to Badass. It's a 12 week program. So there are two options. Get just the course with voice message coaching. So that's huge. And the other option is to get all of that and get one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. But of course, these are very limited. I only work with a very few people every month. You know, we have to be in a very high, like intensive energy and, and compatibility. So if you are curious about either one, you can just find me on Instagram and DM me. Um, I also want to know if you like these kind of videos, if you like these topics, because your feedback is very important to me and I want to create content only on, you know, what is actually helpful for you and what you actually want to know more about. So tell me in the comments below, what is a, a topic that you want me to talk about? And share this with a friend if you think, you know, someone might need this that would really really help them and also help me because it would share the word of my channel so you know it's a happy situation for everybody um but that said if you want to know more about these things or if you just want to follow along my journey and get daily tips daily stories then head to my instagram and just you know follow me over there i am very active on instagram i post helpful content every day and do comment you know if you want to see more content like this where i'm literally just talking about things that happen in my life but i try to apply it to you because i know there's huge lessons for all of us so why not learn the lesson why should i only i learn the lesson let's spread the knowledge let's let everyone learn the lesson without having to go through it but i'm just blabbering now just send me love guys i am a small youtuber and subscribe like oh and also switch on the notification thingies so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Anyways, love you all and uh, take care. See you soon.